Hey, I'm Digital Content Ambassador Abby, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few things I think are important to know before you come to Lancaster University. Your life shouldn't change too drastically when you come here, but moving out can be a bit confusing at first. When you arrive, you'll be taken to your accommodation. Try not to worry too much about which college you want to live in, and give a good look at all of them online. Some things to consider when choosing your college are how close it is to your subject department, what's located around it, and what kind of social space it has. This can help give you a better feel of what to expect. Different accommodation will have different facilities, which you can find from the university's website, but your room will definitely have a desk, bin, bed, a wardrobe, and some storage. Kitchen facilities are provided, so you won't need to bring your kettle iron or a vacuum, and instead bring your bedding, some cutlery, and some towels. Some other things I recommend bringing are toilet paper, obviously, some easy to cook food for late night studying, and some cooking supplies like pans and plates and stuff like that. When I came to Lancaster, I brought two plates, two mugs and two glasses. This is pretty helpful if you've forgotten your mug in your room, or if you're like me, hoping you'll make a friend who'll drink some tea with you. This worked for me, so maybe you should consider it. Your mail gets delivered to the Porter's Lodge, which each college has, and your laundry can be done at the college laundrette. To do this, you'll have to get a laundry card, which you can get when you're in there, and top it up as you go. I recommend bringing laundry pods for these machines, and don't worry if you've never done laundry in your life, there are some helpful instructions inside. You can track the status of your laundry on the Air Lancaster app to save you waiting around. Lancaster University is highly inclusive if you're thinking about practicing your religion while you're staying here. Our chaplaincy centre is multi-faith and includes facilities for everybody, including a Muslim prayer room. If you need advice with getting a job, finance issues, mental health and other things similar to that, you can do that at the base, which is located just next to reception. Campus has a variety of shops, places to eat and drink, as well as banks, a post office and some places that you can get your hair cut. You can find everything within a short walk from your accommodation, and every college has a bar where you can eat, drink and socialise. Campus also has a weekly market where you can find everything from vintage clothes to donuts to eggs laid by local chickens. Campus also has a doctor's surgery and a pharmacy to keep you in good shape while you're here. If you find yourself in Lancaster Town Centre, there's a variety of places to visit. You can typically expect to find everything here that you would normally find in the city centre, with the inclusion of, you know, the castle. Town also includes our student union run club, the Sugar House, if you're into partying, and there's a bus directly there so you won't need to worry about travelling too much. During the rest of the week, buses are regular in the underpass. If you're thinking about travelling fairly regularly, you may want to consider getting your bus pass. Parking facilities are also available on campus, but you'll have to pay per hour, and the train station is located just in the town centre. You can also bring your bicycle if you'd like, as we have a bunch of different bike sheds on campus to keep you safe. We're just a short train ride away from the Lake District, Manchester and Liverpool if you fancy a day trip. Our sports centre has a lot of different facilities you can use, and spaces to practice your sport are also available on campus. If you take your sport seriously, don't worry, so does Lancaster, with over 35 individual sports clubs and a massive yearly War of the Roses tournament. There are many places to study on campus, though the most popular are the Learning Zone and the Library. Our library has three floors and private pods available to book for group work. The library's online system makes it easy to locate a book and it's super simple to check out. If you want to use a computer but don't have one, you can use a public computer in the library or we offer a laptop loan service using your library card. You'll likely have different types of classes when you come here, but the most common are seminars and lectures. Seminars run kind of like a classroom, while lectures are typically larger and take place in the lecture theatre. You'll have to sign into your class using the iLancaster app, where you can register your attendance using Bluetooth. Oh, and one more thing. There are lots of ducks, and they will try and take your food. Okay, thank you.